Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Sunday, June 12, 2022. Today I'm talking about Omicron BA4 and BA5. They are making a big splash around the world as the next Omicron generation likely to take over. You know, the BA4 and BA5 variants have already hit South Africa and Portugal, and they're in 32 different countries around the world. And right now in the U.S., they are currently responsible for 13% of coronavirus cases, up from 1% in May, according to the CDC. Now, some states like Texas and New Mexico, folks, they're already accounting to close to one quarter of all new cases. I know you might have pandemic fatigue and probably nobody cares, but if you do care, here's some information for you about BA4 and BA5. While we're, they're related to the Omicron BA2 family and the sub variants BA4 and BA5 are often discussed together because their spike proteins are identical. Their mutations are elsewhere in their genes. And by now you don't have to be a virologist to know that the spike protein is where the action is with this virus. Now both BA4 and BA5 carry parts of the Delta variant mutation that enhances the ability of the virus to attach to human cells and therefore folks it's going to be very transmissible slash highly contagious and they have mutations that make it much easier to avoid destruction by our immune cells. This phenomenon is called immune escape. Now, there was a preprint publication out of New York, uh, Columbia, on May 26, and they asked the question, will BA4, BA5 outcompete BA2.1, 2.1 here in the United States? Well, we will see, right? We Americans just love to be so welcoming to the Omicron family. We'll see. Now, reinfection with BA4, BA5 is going to be highly likely because, again, this virus can escape antibodies that we produce from previous uh, variant infection. Both BA1 and BA2, it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, BA4 can, ex BA4 and 5 can figure out ways to escape these antibodies. Now, what about the symptoms? So far, they're very similar to the other variants. The mostly cold or allergy like the symptoms include cough, fever, con congestion, runny nose. Uh, some people have had fever, chills, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, muscle aches, body aches, headaches, new loss of taste and smell, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Pretty much the same symptoms. Now remember, you can have a mild case or you can feel pretty lousy. It's hard to predict how you're going to handle these viruses. And it's not known yet if BA4, BA5 will cause long COVID. We'll just have to see. Now, there's some good news is that at least in laboratory studies, Evashield, which is the one monoclonal antibody reserved for high-risk cancer and transplant patients, holds up against BA4, BA5. The bad news is that at least in South Africa, their wave COVID hospitalizations in children under nine years of age was the highest ever, with 50% of the pediatric hospitalizations consisting of uh, hospitalizations in newborns and infants under one year of life. So again, public health is local, and what happens in South Africa, the UK, or Portugal may not be representative of what happens here in the United States. We shall have to see. So that's my informational update on BA4, BA5 for those who are interested. Please take care. Please be safe. And again, prevention strategies remain the same across all these variants. You know what to do.